Hello and welcome to Hakista TV and are you excited with your brand new Flipper Zero but don't know where to start? Let me walk you through with the initial setup in this 4 easy steps. Now the first thing that you will need is to have an SD card. SD card is needed for you to update the firmware and saving signals captured by your Flipper Zero. Now, you have to format this on FAT32, and if you are not comfortable in doing that on a PC, what you can do is just insert it to your Flipper Zero like this. Make sure it is the correct side. And what you can do is, okay, after seeing that, go to Storage, under Settings, and click format SD card and let's format it down and you just wait and after that your SD card is ready to go the next step is that we will install QFlipper and Flipper is the firmware manager for Flipper Zero and it is available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. All you have to do is download the installer and you will have this application. And as you can see, it has a backup and restore of your current firmware. And you can install custom firmware by just clicking the install from file. You can also use this as a file manager for the saved files that you can get from the internet that you can try out and also as you can see it will notify you of any new updates coming from the official firmware now the next thing that we need to do is install a custom firmware due to the restriction needed to pass different types of certification like fcc flipper zero official firmware is a watered-down firmware limiting the full capability of Flipper Zero. And that is the reason why we need custom firmware. There are three popular custom firmware, Unleash, Rogue Master, and Extreme. Personally, I use Unleash. But I advise you to try out those three and see what you would prefer. Now, to install a custom firmware, all you have to do is download the TGC file. And what we're going to do is we're going to update my Flipper Zero right now. And after downloading the TGC file, you just click install from file and browse that TGC file. And for this one, it is the Unleash Firmware 23. And we just need to click install and wait. And congratulations, you now have a new custom firmware on your Flipper Zero. And the last step that we need to do is let's browse the GitHub for Awesome Flipper Zero. And this one, it will have all the different types of links that you can use for your Flipper Zero. One of the most useful one is this one, the Uber Goidos Playground. And it all of the things that you see on TikTok, gas sign, car, keys, uh, amiibos, you can find all of those saved files here and you can just emulate them on your Flipper Zero. What you need to do is, for example, I would like some, the gas sign, the most, the most popular one, and I'll just have to download this file all of these sub file save it on your flipper zero and now you can emulate those signals another one is there are some rubber ducky scripts already here under bad usb you can play with those also on your own pc and for those of you um nintendo fans the amiibos are also here okay not only that, here you can find all of the um, currently in development and stable applications and plugins. Some of these are already included in your custom firmware, by the way. 
and you have some custom graphics animation here also and 3d layouts of modules and cases with that initial setup i hope you are now ready to start exploring your flipper zero and if you like this video be sure to check out my other flipper video here on hakista tv till next time my fellow hakista